What happens when 100 developers try to make a game without communicating? Well, that's exactly what... <laughs> Well, that's exactly what Noah and Liam from Blackthorn Prod asked me to do. Hi, Vsauce here. They are hosting a challenge video where 100 developers have to make a game without communicating. So there's a couple extra rules this time around. Rule number one, you can't remove anything. Rule number two, you only have three hours to complete your changes. 24 other developers have worked on this game before me, and there were a few bugs. There were a few bugs, okay? There were only a few... Oh, I can shoot with my finger guns. It's pretty dope. It's like there's a beating heart. There's a cooldown. It's like there's some sort of inventory system over here on the left. Left mouse button to attack. Right mouse button to parry. Okay, dash. Ooh. Oh, dude, this is art. That's sick. I love the uh, the grass. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you can parry. I can parry. Ooh. Oh. Dude, the game looks great. I love the post-processing. They got the, some bloom. They got this hand that looks like it's backwards, maybe. It's like doing this. But you know. Hello? What is that? It's a toilet. Uh, Mage's Book. Non-light ball attacks deal 0% more damage. Ringo. We're just doing zero damage for some reason. We have found invincible enemies. Okay, so we got upgrades we can choose from. Ice Blast, Eat Your Greens, Liftium Objecticus, whatever. Um, Flame Wave. Ooh. I want to test out Liftium Objecticus, Objecticus on the default cube. Nope. Okay. Yeah, Liftium Objecticus seems to do nothing. That's a fun fact. Okay, light shot seems to be the best one. <laughs> Listen to this light shot. Hear that power behind that? Hear that power? And then ice blast. Look at look how powerful it looks. And then uh, it's the coolest one by far, in my opinion. Like the charge, the charge effect is really cool. But I think the cast actually needs some some inspiration, and we need sound effects. So yeah, it seems like when you're close to an object. See that? See how when I'm firing, the bullets are going to the right of the reticle. It should be going dead on always. What we're missing here is shooting a ray directly from the finger guns. And we need to be casting a ray directly from the player's body out instead of from the hand. That's why it feels so inaccurate. You gotta aim a little bit to the right or to the left of the enemies to actually hit them. Yeah, you just aim a little to the left and you're, and you're being chilling, dude. Oh, there's a boss or something. He's 3D, which is interesting. And his bullets are insanely hard to dodge. Like, almost impossible. Now, after playing the game for this amount of time, I realized that the main thing I needed to do was polish. That's it. Just polish. So that's what I did. One of the issues is that the art style is a little lost. It looks like this is kind of what we're going for. This is a great texture. It's like pixelated, applied to the, to the wall. It's like this 2D, 3D art style we're going for. And then there's this one which is just like a straight up texture off of cc0.textures.com, which is great, but it just doesn't match the art style a little bit. So I think what we can do to fix that is just pull these textures into Photoshop and pixelate them. That should maybe help. So maybe I'll do that. Dude, it's gonna be polish season, dude. It's polish season. We're just doing polish season in November, dude. Ah, in December. But yeah, this boss is not dying. Will he ever die? Oh, he died. Let's go. And we got this crazy portal. <laughs> I actually really like the color choice, but it's spinning way too fast. And like, I think the particles on the outside should uh, be independent of the spinning circle, kind of. It looks a little wonky. Next, oh, there's another level. Okay, good first impression, to be honest. There's definitely some uh, polishing that needs to be done. And I think I'm dev, I'm dev number 25, exactly a quarter of the way through. So I think that is, that is a perfect time to do polishing. And I think that's all I'm gonna do with this. And maybe, Add a little secret little Easter egg too. Okay, I've taken a little break and I've figured out the most important tasks I want to work on here. Making the shooting more accurate, matching the style of textures in the game, making sure that enemy invincibility bug is not happening anymore, and then adding better enemy attack visuals. A different shader, maybe something, something random. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Yeah. So to start off, let's fix probably the most important thing in a first person shooter, making shooting accurate. Projectile script, here we go. I think I found it. Direction, transformed up forward. That is our issue. Ooh. 
Cool. So basically what we're doing is we are creating a new spell at a certain position and rotation, getting the accurate position by getting the spawn position, which is the finger guns, and then... Uh excuse me, subtracting that from the hit point, which will give us a vector pointing in the direction that the object projectile should go. Let's give it a whirl. It is not working. <laughs> Boom, look at that accuracy. Perfect. Accurate shooting, done. Next up, let's do this one. Textures don't match. So let's find all our textures. Let's start with this one. Photoshop, dungeon structure tower, depth, ST, albedo. Alrighty, so now I just change, I just finished changing the textures. I think they look pretty good. I basically just reduced the image scale by like two to the three or whatever that is. Um, and it looks a lot better. Applies to all these two. So these pillars here, pillars here. Uh, snap to me, doing a little smooth transition between the old and new textures. Let's mark that as done you know what i should a boring task i'm gonna do a fun task let's make the orbs cooler All right, so it has officially been uh, about about a week uh, since that last clip you just saw. Um, and I figured, so let's just show you the orbs. I, I recorded it, but I didn't record it well, and I didn't really show what was happening, so I'm re-recording it. Here it is. Go over here, go to the enemies. Look at this. Got the fire, fire spell here, and the ice spell. And then you can also use the ice spell. You also use the same, the uh, same shader for that. That's pretty neat. That's pretty freaking neat. That's how I did that. How that works. Uh, I'll do a little bit of ex explanation. Maybe I'll cut this out. Maybe I'll cut this out. Who knows? So basically, essentially what we're doing is I wanted to achieve like that pixelated text, like how, how we're pixelating all of our textures, but in like a shader form. And I found this, um, this way you can pixelate your UVs, I think is what's happening. Uh, essentially you take your UVs, multiply them by some constant and then round them. And that pixelates your UVs. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Uh, I'm doing some tiling based on time, which uh, moves the moves the um, makes it look like the ball is friggin' wobbling around and stuff. Um, and then I am doing some other weird stuff. Let's be honest, you don't care that much. I'm also adding this inner and outer glow effect. So I basically just have a Fresnel effect that I use for the outer glow, and then I invert it and then use that for the inner color, inner glow. And that makes our, our enemy work. I also mentioned in the beginning that I wanted to add a an Easter egg, and I did do that. I forgot to add me making it or record me making the Easter egg. I can show it to you. I can show it to you real quick. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Can you close them? Close your eyes for one second. Okay, good. Somewhere in this room, go through and stick you in a bad I make you get out, dude. You better get your freaking hand out right this instant. Yeah, I tell you, when I tell you, you gotta get out, you, you, get out, you gotta, gotta get, get out, man. I got some of those new uh, poppy, poppy sodas you know, out, we've been talking dude. about. Anyway, the video's out already at this point, so go watch that if you haven't already. And yeah, let me know if you like this kind of video. It's a lot more lower effort for me, <laughs> which is dope <laughs> because the other ones take me like months to do. I'm also working on one of those that should release soon-ish. Don't know, honestly. Thank you for watching. I hope I didn't forget to say anything. And toodaloo. To toodaloo. There were a few bugs, okay? There were a few bugs. Just a few. Just a few. Just a few.